You're watching Telecom TV for Mobile World Congress 2019 in Barcelona. And I'm joined now by Amit Tiwari of Affirmed Networks and Cedric Gonan of Orange. Cedric and Amit, thank you both for joining us on Telecom TV. Cedric, um, Orange is working with Affirmed Networks to launch a Wi-Fi roaming service. What are the business drivers behind this? Uh, in fact, uh, Orange is launching uh, an international carrier grade Wi-Fi roaming services. And to do so, we uh, need some uh, elements from AFM network to be able to carry the traffic back to the network of the mobile operators. So we are relying on AFM network uh, appliance to do so. This new service, it seems, is capable of providing a reliable signal and services to users anywhere, land, sea, or air. How is Affirm Networks helping you achieve this? Exactly. What we propose is to connect and users with a smartphone on a Wi-Fi network with exactly the same user experience in roaming as they have in cellular. So it means that they are able to connect thanks to the SIM card authentication. So it's done with a AAA. And then we take the traffic and we send it back to the core network. And for that, we need a TWAG, which is provided by Affin. And Affin partners with us to manage this part of the solution. Prior to this approach, what has made it difficult for operators to provide this kind of secure communications on top of unlicensed networks? Yeah, uh, traditionally, the Wi-Fi roaming was working differently from the cellular. The Wi-Fi roaming, you have local breakouts. It means that your traffic is escaped locally by the visited network. So what we provide is to say, stop this behavior because there is limitation on the user experience and try to catch the traffic and send it back to the home network exactly following the three GPP uh, architectures on top of IPX networks. Orange International Carriers, we are an IPX providers, a roaming providers, and we close the gap between the Wi-Fi roaming solution and the cellular roaming solution. And this is where Affem is playing a role in this by just channeling the traffic back to the home network on virtualized appliance in the cl IPX cloud. Amit, Affirm Networks is well known for its virtualized EPC solution, but as you've seen from this announcement, you're also providing a Wi-Fi solution. What is behind this continued evolution of your portfolio? Is it being driven by customers such as Orange? Absolutely, that's a very key question. As, as Cedric said, uh, if you look at Affirm and our journey, we started off with the premise of virtualizing the service provider network, right? The transformation of the network. Now think about it transformation with all the key services that drive the network, right? That's been the premise of a firm. So as you know about the EPC, our virtualized EPC, a very essential component of providing pervasive coverage across the network is the macro cellular, but also the Wi-Fi part of the network. And working with key strategic partners like Orange, what we are able to do now is offer service continuity, just like Cedric said, across the macro cellular network and the Wi-Fi network and make sure that our forward-looking partners like Orange can actually provide services that are next generation on every network that provides pervasive reach. And Cedric, how is the partnership going so far? So it's working very well because we are co-building this solution. As I told you, it's the first unique solution in the world because we are the only one who are combining uh, this Wi-Fi roaming with uh, cellular roaming. So at the beginning, it was not so easy to do so. So we work in a partnership with Affirm to build the end-to-end -end solution, and now we are able to provide it to any mobile operators worldwide who are our customers for the roaming. Amit, Affirm Networks continues to make announcements with the world's leading operators. To what do you attribute this ability to work with CSPs such as Orange? Absolutely. You know, we always talk about the technology, right, Cedric? You know, technology is something that actually keeps us all motivated, right? In this business, you know, we set about to make transformation, right? Technology is a very key component, but the cultural and the value aspect of working together is also equally important. So the things that make the entire solution work is the cultural cohesiveness that you have with organizations like Orange and a firm. We are a cont continuous improvement, continuous development type of an environment. It is so great to work with organizations like Orange, which actually embrace that same concept. So we can actually work in a true partnership alignment, and that is where the magic happens. You know, technology is one thing. We work very hard to solve a lot of that. 
but it's the cultural alignment and the same shared value system of continuous improvement and creating new services that are innovative and actually excite the market, right? Doing those things together is what brings those services to market. And Cedric, even with so much focus on 5G here at Mobile World Congress, there's still a big market for Wi-Fi. Yeah, 5G definitely will bring more bandwidth to the end users, but you have some uh, way of thinking about 5G like an aggregation of multiple networks, including licensed and unlicensed. There is a gross demand of bandwidth of, for usage, for streaming, for all the verticals. For 5G, you will have real-time usage, Wi-Fi as well. So there is place for any technology on the radio layer. What's the most important is to get the connectivity. Whatever the underlying radio technology, could be Wi-Fi, Kyograde, could be 5G, could be 4G, could be something different tomorrow. But there is definitely a place for Wi-Fi in the future of connectivity. So you're adopting an agnostic approach to underlying technology? Yeah, yeah just to add, our role is definitely to hide the underlying technology to end users. So we don't care about Wi-Fi, 5G, 4G, uh, Tomorrow there will be new networks and our role is really to add this underlying technology to make it as easy as possible to use for our users not to worry about this uh, issue and technical issue underlying. I mean, final question for yourself. What has impressed you most about working with Orange? You know, working with operators like Orange is, is, is intensely satisfying and it brings a whole set of new capabilities that we have built into our solution to the market. If you think at the core of our ability to succeed with key partners like Orange and, and tier one operators around the world, it's the fundamentals of the affirmed software architecture. We wrote our architecture in a native, cloud native, decomposed microservices con construct. We wrote it to be web scale. That enables us to do very rapid prototyping, very rapid development, and actually create solutions for partners like Orange in a, a method that is actually typically has in the past been the cloud providers that have been able to do it. A firm with its differentiated software architecture is able to create these types of services and solutions and bring them to market like we did with Orange. Amit and Cedric, thank you both very much for joining us on Telecom TV.